I'm running into a slow roll, we've got a good chance to see the aircraft delivering from bottom and top. Tom using stick and rudder to maintain the straightening level there as he runs for the Royal Air Force, Royal Navy and Foreign and Commonwealth. And now Tom completing three quarters of a four point roll, nice, crisp and accurate there. Completing a hesitation wing over, a good opportunity for a good lookout and again to link a sequence of running in towards us on a 45 degree axis to pull up for another quarter over. Good aileron roll there just to sort of spacing out. Tom joined the Royal Air Force in 2005 and after successfully completing the Tejano course and the 208 Squadron Hawk course he was creamed off to become an instructor. Going to uh, position prior to their display. Commander Chris Marnie and uh, Chris is flying with uh, Lieutenant Commander Al Haig. So ladies and gentlemen, approaching from the left, may I introduce the Black Cats of 2010. Chris on the left is leading the pair for the first manoeuvre, which will be a Canadian break. Over the top of Becky, who now takes the lead as two links fly away from you. Only 30 feet. Becky's now on your left, she's flying a Mark 8, and Chris on the right is flying a Mark 3. Remember, these are both fully operational aircraft uh, displaying for you today, whose primary role is maritime anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare. The Mark 3 is usually training for a pledge of pilots at 702 squadron, and the Mark 8 is an array of integrated avionics with the front line area in the North Atlantic.
about the stripes on this aircraft. Don't be confused with the invasion stripes that you sometimes see on, on 